Hello guys, this is Fusion Forge, and this is going to be my first viewer requested video. Um, in this video, I will be making a shorting table. So without further ado, let's get started. First, start a sketch on the top plane using Shift S, and then use Shift 5 to go into top view. Press R to start a center rectangle, click on the origin, and then drag outwards. This rectangle should have a width of 18 inches and a length of 14 inches. And now, after we zoom out a bit, we want to press Shift E to extrude this rectangle by one inch. So confirm it. And then we want to start a sketch on this, uh, on the top of this model. This time we want to make a corner rectangle. So press G. And this corner rectangle should have a width of 3.5 inches and a length of three inches. We want to dimension it from the left side. It should be 0.5 inches away from the left side and 0.5 inches away from the bottom. Now, press now, press the linear pattern button right here and click on all of the lines making up this rectangle. Change the number of objects to 4 and then change the number of rows to 4. Now drag them out. The space between each row should be 3.33 inches, and the space between each col uh, column or object should be 4.5 inches. Now confirm your sketch. Now we actually want to extru extrude this sketch, so press Shift E, and then press Shift 7, and now we can extrude it. We're going to go to Thin Extrusion, and for some reason, it always deselects whatever sketch we have selected. Or thin extrusion. So as you can see, thin extrusion only extrudes the lines given the specific thickness that you put in. If you check midplane, it will specific it will divide the thickness that you specify on uh, by two, extruding uh, with either side. Can be useful. And then confirm. Now the thing with shorting tables is I was not, the viewer did not specify what type of shorting table they wanted and I saw two models on you, uh, on Google. So one was this, each with its separate space and then there was another one with the all of these smaller rectangles and then one larger one in the center. So how to make that larger rectangle in the center easily is just clicking on all eight of these lines right here, converting all of them to construction lines, clicking L, and then joining this larger rectangle together to have that larger space. Now, because I want deeper uh, pockets for my uh, tray, I want to go to move face and select all of the inner faces of these extrusions and I want to move down so press shift 4 to go to right view you can see the arrow pointing up we want to go to the opposite direction and for me I want to go down by a distance of 0.75 inches confirm shift 7 and that is how you make your own shorting tray in on shape of course, you can go further by using Shift F for flaying. You can flay all of these smaller corners. You can flay the insides of each of these. I'll leave that up to all of you. You can just click it, hover over, see what radius would be the best. And it's really up to all of you. So. Please remember to like and subscribe and have a good day.